Good evening and welcome to the brief at 30. You're here with me, Sandro Satijit. On to your local story this hour, ideas regarding the government pension scheme was discussed, or discussed rather, at a media briefing organized in Colombo today by the Frontline Socialist Party. As per the cabinet announcement regarding the government pension scheme, they have proposed that 8% of the wages from every new worker who enters the government force be invested to create a sponsored pension scheme for them. The average wage of a government worker is 24,790 rupees. But if we consider someone earning 20,000 rupees, then another 2,000 is slashed. 4,000 rupees will be cut off from someone who has a wage of 50,000 rupees. If they earn 100,000 rupees, then 8,000 would be cut off. They are trying their best to take money away from the government workers with the 8%. They will begin this for all government workers. The government's primary focus from this is that they would move away from the typical pension scheme. On to news overseas now. Israeli protesters blocked the main highway from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem on Wednesday. The move comes as lawmakers were set to plow ahead with contentious judicial overhaul that opponents see as a threat to democracy. Demonstrations were expected to intensify nationwide in what protest organizers have dubbed a day of disruption. Israel's far-right national security minister said he would not allow a mutiny or anarchists to block roads. The reform was proposed by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's Nationalist Religious Coalition government in January. It includes giving the government decisive sway in picking judges and limits and limits the scope of the Supreme Court to strike down legislation or rule against the executive. On to sports news now. New Zealand Rugby will appoint a new All Blacks coach within six weeks to succeed Ian Foster. New Zealand Rugby will appoint a new All Blacks coach within six weeks to succeed Ian Foster after the World Cup, with Foster confirming on Wednesday he will not reapply for the role. Foster had urged New Zealand Rugby to wait until the World Cup to decide. However, the governing body said recent events and competition for talent in the global rugby market had forced their hand. The statement comes three weeks after Scott Robertson, tipped to succeed Foster after the World Cup, said he was expecting an imminent announcement about his future in the New Zealand coaching structure. That's all the news for now. Take care.